This is just a heartbreaking story. Jacob was cleared to fly by a, a veterinarian, and Kathleen, his owner, says if she knew it was risky, her family would have never put him on that plane. I was, I was heartbroken. I just didn't understand why. You know, my mom wouldn't have put him on that first flight from Detroit to Chicago had we known in the first place that his trip was going to be so much longer than expected. Kathleen Considine is devastated after her beloved dog Jacob died. The seven-year-old golden retriever passed away after a flight from Detroit to Portland that was supposed to only have a one-hour layover in Chicago, but it turned into a 20-hour stay because Jacob's crate didn't fit onto the second plane. They didn't check in originally. They just assumed, I suppose, that he would fit onto that second flight and he didn't. And that's what caused the 20 hour layover in Chicago. So it was just them not, not caring to check. After that 20 hour layover, Jacob was finally on his way to Oregon. But when he landed, Kathleen's boyfriend who picked him up from the airport could tell the 80 pound dog wasn't his usual self. He wouldn't stand and a United worker told him he would be fine. That was around four in the afternoon and Kathleen contacted a veterinarian who said to keep an eye on him. But by around 11 that night, she was rushing her Jacob to the emergency vet. They got him on a table immediately. He still had a heartbeat. They did eight minutes of CPR and lost him. Kathleen wrote about her heartache on Facebook to warn other pet owners about what happened to Jacob, who she says died from bloat, a stomach issue that can be brought on by stress. Do your research, and I know there's programs out there that can transport your pet way safer than the cargo of an airplane, and I know that now, and I just want every dog parent to know that to save their pet. And a spokesman for United Airlines maintains they are not responsible for Jacob's death. He says the dog did not show any signs of being ill while in their care. Reporting live, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Wow, that is a, a tough one to report and to even hear. Thank you so much, Kim.